So I got this uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, sec basically second generation Ford Raptor body. Um, for those of you who don't know what the Ford Raptor is, this is basically the souped up off-roady muscular monster truck E-ish um, model of the Ford F-150 from Ford, obviously. So I'm currently um, working on the Traxxas Ford Raptor right now because I just got one. And I already just got the masking on the windows. And now I'm ready to go ahead and paint it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the garage. Now I'm all ready to prep. Um, well, now I'm already prepped up. Now it's time to go ahead and do the painting. Oh. Um, so I got the first layer done. So it's still not a perfect thing. I kind of oversprayed a little bit, but all I'm gonna use now is I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna go girly here and use a hair dryer and uh, dry it up and so I can start on my next layer. All right, it's already done painting with this thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the stickers that came with it and then I'll go from there. Okay, uh, so far um, I got the, the adhesives out of the windshield and all the windows but as you can see there are some adhesive right adhesive marks there now honestly I have no big deal about it but if you guys are really want to keep your car at least clean as possible um, well just use some kind of material to help clean that out but at the moment I'm not too um, I'm not that big of a detail on it so it's, it's no big deal because I'm gonna I want to make these things clear as possible just for you guys to actually see the inside as much as I can. But aside from that, uh, what I'm going to do next is I am going to remove the, the, um, the protective coating up here, uh, which has that kind of that matte color. So once I remove that piece of film, it will become glossy. That's more glossy than it was before. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the stickers in. I'm not gonna put all of them in, but just as much as I can. And then I'll just install it on the slash and in fact I did a little bit of some hacking a little bit where I didn't have to buy any extra spacers like get an entire new assembly for the front shock tower I just used some spaces on for that's normally on the shocks and, and it just went from there and it does kind of rub on the body I don't think it's that bad not big of a deal and I can always do my ride high adjustments anytime so I'm just gonna try to do my very best on experimenting kind of thing. But aside from that, uh, this body is pretty much ready to go and I'll just slap in the stickers and then I'll be on my way for that. So there it is guys, um, that's the Raptor. Um, I still need to get myself um, a Raptor bumper for this thing. But aside from that, there you guys have it. That's what the Raptor looks like so far. Um, yep. There's still some room to grow. Um, I'm gonna go change out the rims because uh, I still got some clean slash rims for it. So this one has a little bit of body rub. Um, it's a little bit. I may have to stiffen the spring up a little bit or something or raise the right height. But we'll see from there. Um, like I said, this thing is not done. Excuse me. This thing's not done yet. I'm gonna put a front bumper in, probably get some side mirrors and stuff on the top to work but aside from that I am done for now all right guys um, um, what I did so far today is I had to put some extenders and use the high riding um, body mounts for the slash uh, two-wheel drive with the four it's, it's supposed to fit for the four Raptor body um, let's see here yeah you know, I was supposed to do, I did my very best to not spend so much, uh, a huge chunk of money just to get the Ford Raptor body up onto the, onto the car because the Ford Raptor body uses a um, higher shock mounts, uh, not shock mounts, but body mounts. So I had to pay like $6 for the body mounts. And it, it's a good thing that it also included not just the, um, the front sh uh, sh shock, I keep saying shock. Front body mounts, it also includes the rear body mounts, which I did not put on this on this one. 
but it does include it as you can see with this one. Yeah, so it's only six dollars. So, and I also got the the accessories for it. It goes like the grill and the wing mirrors and stuff. So yeah, uh, it's it's pretty good. So didn't spend a huge chunk of money today. But, uh, we gotta do some more work onto this Ford Raptor body and we'll call it a day. So there you guys have it. Um, that's the Traxxas slash two wheel drive with the uh, F-150 Ford Raptor body on it. This is the first time I actually worked on a slash body actually. Um, I worked, this is the first slash body that I ever worked on and painted myself. That's already a pile of junk. <laughs> That's a basher body. Um, this one is my, I wouldn't say second. I had a, I had another one, but it was just a regular slash body uh, that looked like that, except the red. So, yeah, but that one's already completely destroyed. Now this one right here is the fourth um, body that I ever worked for a Traxxas Slash, which is the Ford F-150 uh, Raptor, Raptor body. So. But aside from that, I mean, I love the way it looks. The only thing that I am missing right here is, um, what do you call it, the front bumper. My local hobby shop, uh, at the time I'm making this video, does not have some in stock. So, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. But, uh, oops, sorry, my camera just stopped right there. Uh, anyways, so, uh, like I said, my local hobby shop did not have a front bumper for the Raptor, the 2017 Raptor in stock. So I may have to t either deal with it or try to find another way to to get a bumper for that. But I mean, I don't think it's a big deal, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to experiment with stuff. I don't think it will fit with that. It's, you know, it's, it's, I think the body's a little too big for it. But uh, yeah, there are a few modifications that I had to do uh, just to get this body to fit in just right because the original shock, I keep saying shock, the original uh, body mounts that was here, it was about this thick right here, or this tall. Now the ones in here are actually a lot taller than this one. The reason why this one wouldn't, wouldn't work is because whenever I try to do this, it would scrub on the front fender. The tires will scrub on the fenders and I did not want any tire rub. So I had to fix that up. But now, since everything's all fixed up, it's all ready, ready to go. I think I may have to lower it a little bit. It looks like it's riding a little bit too high. It kinda looks like a Baja truck when you look at it from this side. <laughs> but yeah. Um, a little bit of some scuff right here on this on the windows, some a little bit on the windshield, not much on the on the sunroof, but it's no big deal. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not the best at making RC bodies, but I do my very best to make them as good as I can. So I may add a little bit more stickers in it, but I'm not going to do it to the point where it's like looks heinously ugly, just to make it a little bit more subtle. Uh, but yeah. These tires right here, these tire wheels and tires are actually tires and wheels that I actually got from Traxxas um, back when I used to live in LA and I had these tires back in 2017. So yeah, it was quite a while and these, and these things are still fairly new. So yeah, and the reason why that I actually, um, there's actually two reasons why I actually bought a Ford Raptor body for this thing. I was going to think about getting another Traxxas Slash with a Ford Raptor body, but I'm like, why well, get another Traxxas Slash if I could just pay like I don't know, under fifty dollars for a for a clear one and I just painted it myself. So that's what I did instead. Um, and the second reason why I wanted a Ford Raptor body, or at least I want. Uh, uh, there's actually three reasons. I already said the first reason. The second reason why I wanted the Ford Raptor body because I like the Ford Raptor. It's actually one of my favorite trucks. Um, it's actually the my all-time favorite uh, Ford F-150. That's actually my favorite Ford uh, Ford truck in the F-150 lineup. Uh, ever since I played Forza Horizon 1, 
And when the Raptor was introduced in that game, the Raptor uh, in that game does not does not look like this. It doesn't look very boxy or in the front kind of thing. It was actually a lot different than it was compared to the one today. Uh, the old one had a 6.2 liter V8, and this generation of the Ford Raptor has a V6. I believe that's the same engine as you will find in the Ford GT, the 2017 Ford GT. And the final reason why I actually want to get this, um, a new body actually, for the slash is because I'm heading over to Utah this weekend and I want to actually bring an RC with me so I can make some videos over there because I heard that Utah has like one of the best off-road areas so I decided to you know, just bring some, bring this with me and just go have some fun and just make some videos over there. So yeah. Anyways guys, that's enough of me blabbing for you guys. I'm gonna do a little bit more modifications to it, but aside from that, this truck is pretty much ready to go. All I need last is um, a bumper for it. But that, I'm still kind of debating on it, if I should get it or not. But, um, I don't know, let me know in the comments. But aside from that, I am done for now.